please give a huge round of applause for Monica Winfield. Pumping. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. Watch ya. Yes, they are my crew in the cheap seats up there. Radio Leicester couldn't quite uh, go to a table. Um, but uh, yes, thank you very much indeed uh, for that warm welcome. My name is Monica Winfield, and for the last 40 years or so, uh, I've been presenting radio programmes. So this is really actually quite weird, being able to see who I'm talking to. I don't do so much of that now. You might say retired. I say I'm on eternity leave. So I thought long and hard about what I was going to talk to you about tonight. And in the end, I made a list because I like a list. You know where you are with a list. I have just read the list of 100 things to do before you die. One thing not on it, call for help. <laughs> You'd think that'd be there, right? When I was working, I always had a to-do list, and I loved it when a to-do list had lots of ticks on it, because that, of course, then made it a ta-da list. <laughs> These days, I've just got the two. I've still got a to-do list, but I've also got a too-late list. But it's all right. It's not all bad. I'm at the time of life where I don't need to do drugs. If I want a head rush, I just stand up too quickly. <laughs> I try to keep fit. And I love to walk our dog for miles every day. The dog doesn't love it. Well, not judging by the way he looks at me, like he wishes I'd clear off back to work so he can have a rest. So if he doesn't like to walk, I thought, well, I'll teach him to dance. Waste of time, he's got two left feet. <laughs> I played frisbee with him this morning. Well, that was no good. I think I really need a flatter dog. Owning a dog teaches you life lessons, things like obedience, loyalty, and the importance of turning round three times on your bed before you lie down. <laughs> I do worry about him, though. I mean, he's not bothered about walking under ladders or avoiding the cracks on the pavement, but if he ever broke a mirror, would he have 49 years bad luck? Uh, he's an RSPCA special, our dog. He's uh, an accidental mix of Alsatian and Greyhound. Uh, if we're trying to impress people, we'll say that he's a Greysation. <laughs> but have you seen those real designer dogs? Poodles always seem to be involved. You see cockapoos everywhere. I've seen a multi-poo, that's a Maltese and a poodle. Even a peekapoo, which is apparently a Pekingese and a poodle. Uh, my sister's dog is a bijou. Uh, that's a Bichon Frise and a Shih Tzu. Of course, they will never mix a poodle and a Shih Tzu because who would admit they had a shitty poo? <laughs> My friend, though, has got the best dog. This dog is magic and it can do loads of tricks. Well, of course it can. It's a Labracadabrador. <laughs> So I also used to work as a diet and fitness instructor, and I can tell you now the hardest thing about dieting is not watching what you eat. No, it's watching what everyone else is eating. <laughs> My classes were in Braunston, and some fabulous women used to come. Shirley told me that she always ate her pudding first, then her starter, then her main course. Turns out she had an eating disorder. And there... and there was Pam, who said obesity ran in her family. Probably the only thing that did, to be fair. <laughs> I used to love the way they'd be really strict with themselves until they got to target weight. And the minute they hit their target weight, they went out for a meal. And they were also very creative, and they invented loads of ways of taking the calories out of food. Eating standing up, apparently no calories. Uh, eating when nobody can see you, no calories. <laughs> or, this is the best one, if you break a biscuit before you eat it, all the calories leak out. 
Um, of course, the highlight of the week was always the weigh-in. And let me tell you now, as they discovered, if you have a wee before you get on the scales, it makes not a jot of difference to your weight. And you are more than welcome to go and try that in the privacy of your own bathroom later on. Look, you seem like nice people. You've laughed in nearly all the right places. So with my many years of life experience, let me leave you with two words that will open many doors. Push and pull. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for listening. I'm Monica Winfield. <laughs>